zone. Every college campus in America has a safe zone. I'm asking you not to be rude to the preacher. You're not looking anybody I'm asking you not to be rude to the preacher. I am going to continue with the class. But you have to respect the safe zone. All right? So... Here, Why do you deserve respect? I got a message that I want to preach to you. You're not even looking at us. You're not now, even acknowledging us. I'm, I'm going to look at you in just a minute. Right, yes, this is the message of God. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Specifically, you listen up. have heard the voice of God enough that you feel qualified to speak it. To a listen up. Class is going to start. You you get, you're disturbing my class, you know my friend. What that is? You're that disturbing my class. That you're disturbing my class, okay? You literally, so, yes, I'm distracting you. You're going to get a bad grade from this class. In your you're your going to get a bad grade from this class. In your you need vision. to sit down and shut up There's, and listen to the preacher. That's what you're going to do. Now you're telling me okay? to shut up. I've rattled your cage. Right. The book of Luke, really? chapter 16. You're qualified to preach the word of God. Yes, you're, I am. I'm going to tell you why. Qualified. You want the answer? Oh, you're qualified this is, to preach this the is, word of let God. Let me answer you. This is the answer. The Bible says this, he make us able ministers of the New Testament, not by the leather, because the leather kill it, but of the spirit, because the spirit bring it life. I don't have a PhD, I don't have a college diploma, I have the Holy Spirit of God, and that's what qualifies me to preach the gospel. You in our safe zone, lady, you need to get out of the safe zone. Anyway, Luke 16. Book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 15 says this, That which is highly esteemed above men is an abomination in the sight of God. We're going to talk about the wisdom of men versus God's wisdom. Because today in America, 2017, we have the wisdom of men that tells you one thing, but you got to look at the Bible what the Bible tells you that you got to do with your life. Hey. Full of wickedness, hey. and we need hey. to stop abortion. Hey, hey, We need to stop, stop. abortion. Hey. hey, hey, stop that shit. We Let need that to, you out. have a nasty hey. mouth. Stop. Go wash your stop. mouth. Stop, yeah. stop. 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 Stop that shit. Hey. The wisdom of the world tells you hey. that it's okay hey. to be a filthy hey. homosexual. Hey. 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 But it's not hey. okay. It's not okay to be a homo. There is a man that can set you free. Hey, hey, have you bled for God? I have. I am gay. God, God doesn't love go iniquity. God doesn't love iniquity. God, and you need to repent, lady. Hey. Stop being a lesbian. Stop being a lesbian. Okay, so we have point number five or six. How many people in here take the name of God in vain? I do. I do. See, look at all these people taking the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in vain. Or you watch Hollywood movies and they take the name, they use the name of Christ in vain, and there's no problem with you because you hate God. But the third commandment of God says, "Do not take my name in vain. Do not take the name of the God of the Bible in vain." Again, the wisdom of the word tells you, don't ever hate, don't hate anybody. But this is what the Bible says, Ecclesiastes 3, 3, 3, 3, 1 says, there is a time for love, there is a time for hate. God is angry with the wicked every day. Delay in your ear. How many of you have this big hole in your ear? Is anybody here with big holes in your ear? I do not acknowledge you as holy. The Bible says, do not cut your flesh. Do True. not make any cuttings in your flesh. You That's what the Bible says. Backward. Do not make any cuttings on your flesh. Right now, we're going to give you another class on the First Amendment. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Come on, step down. Just, you can get back up in a second. Just come on, step down. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to continue preaching, you can talk to them. No, I'm not going to use the no, megaphone. I got to talk to you because you're the one that's Go ahead. causing all of it. All right, so come on. Talk to me. I have nothing to hide. Just come on down. Come on all the way down. Come I'm not a threat down. to you, officer. I know you're not. Just come on all the way down. Thank you. All right. What's up? It's cowbell. All right. <laughs> I wish I could have the cowbell, but that's all right. Okay. Do you have... All I have to know is if you guys have any kind of a permit or yes, anything sir. like that for you. 
you have a permit. I'm gonna read to you. No, no, no. I need, no, no. I need a, like a permit to Can have an assembly. Can you not touch my stuff? Can you not touch my stuff? Can you not touch my stuff? The First Amendment to the yeah, Constitution the reads: Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise, therefore, of abrading the freedom of speech or press of the right of people to peace, peaceably to assemble and to petition to the government for redress and grievances. Public forums, including sidewalks and parks, are mandated places for the purpose of exercising First Amendment rights. Right. That is my opinion right there. That is, that is I, think this, I think it's like a body's hate speech. I mean, I don't know. And I believe. The school campus that he doesn't can even you live please be quiet? Words. And I believe you took a note. Do you have, do you have the microphone? The microphone is here. Yeah. 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 Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me let me call it. Let me go. Hey, listen up. Listen up, class. Listen up, class. Listen up. Because it's a college campus and he does have freedom of speech, he can be out here and he can be saying. We cannot distinguish between hate speech and what he's saying. That's right. Not a law. If you don't want to hear it, or if you disagree with it, you can argue with him, you can say your opinion to him, it will probably make him say his opinion louder and back to you, it'll probably continue all day, or you could just go to class and not listen. It's up to you guys, but he could be here as long as he doesn't do anything violent. We're gonna be here all day today, right. tomorrow, and Wednesday. I know that's not gonna happen. We're gonna be here today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So you're gonna have enough time to pass the final exam by Wednesday. You better study the Bible really good, because we're gonna ask you questions on Wednesday. It's your final exam, students. Don't read the stupid Quran. No, pick up the Bible.